A wild ride came to a violent ending when a deputy who says that he was fearing for his life pulled a gun and shot a female suspect. Investigators tell us a woman left the scene of a violent confrontation where another woman was hit in the head with a hammer. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli picking up the story live for us now. Vince. Good morning, guys. This high-speed chase was intense. Deputies say the suspect was reckless. I spoke with one neighbor who cared for the victim of a hammer attack. Yeah, it was a big just hole in her forehead. Frances Nanning describes a terrifying situation last night. She says her neighbor was struck in the head with a hammer around 1030. She came running over here. Fort Bend deputies say two women were arguing over money. Things escalated and 30 year old Starlisha Baker, a guest, attacked the homeowner. A rag to put over her head to kind of contain the bleeding. Nanning called 911 while Baker took off in her Chevy Camaro. It's, it's a little scary. Authorities say they caught up with Baker, then there was a chase topping 100 miles per hour, mainly on Highway 99. Then Baker got off on Belfort. Spike strips were deployed, and the Camaro's tires were blown. Deputies tried to stop her. She did strike one of our vehicles, and then backed up towards another deputy, at which time a deputy fired two shots. One of those bullets hit her in the chest. Uh, she did survive. In fact, she's already been released from the hospital. No innocent bystanders were hurt in the high-speed chase that spanned 15 miles on residential roads and a highway, and now Baker is locked up. We we're very fortunate. Obviously, she didn't care what she did. She hit someone with a hammer, but we are very fortunate if she didn't hit anyone else with her vehicle or crash into a house out here or something a lot more serious. And the victim has not been identified, but they were released from the hospital. Meanwhile, Baker is locked up, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and evading arrest. Both are felonies. Reporting live from Fort Bend County, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.